Okay, let's check out the filter section in the analog. So I have a default patch here. And let's make a, a sound. Let's first of all take a oscillator one octave lower. Let's make like a power chord here. Let's make it a saw. And this one I'll do seven semitones. Maybe detune it. Okay, and let's go to the amp envelope. Let's make it solid, full sustain, no release. Take maybe add some velocity to the attack and take down the velocity to the volume. Okay, nice. Uh, let's click on the filter section. So we see the controls for the filter. First, we can turn it on and off here. Here we can select the filter type. And before we do that, I just want to point that both oscillators right now are going to filter one. If we move them to filter two, there's not going to be any sound because filter two is turned off and we'll use both of them in a second. So here we can select the filter type where we have low pass 12 and 24. It's going to be a bit more filtered because the slope is going to be steeper, 24 dB per octave. Uh, band pass 6 and 12. Uh, we have notch filters to cut some frequencies in the middle. So here we have two poles or four poles, basically two cuts or four cuts. Uh, high pass filters, 12 and 24. And we also have four man filters, which will have this kind of EQ curve uh, mimicking of a vowel sound of a human, of just a mouth. So you have uh, even more accentuated 12 dB. Nice, and here we have the main cutoff frequency and the resonance. So let's go to like a low pass. You can hear that resonance uh, squ squelch. squelch. Uh, nice, and we can also send the signal to filter two, which we'll talk about in a second. Let's just go over the controls in the main window here of filter one. So we have the same envelope controls as we have for the amp envelopes, and you can check out our previous video part two uh, for all the controls of the amp. But we have a few other things here. So uh, first of all, um, again, we have the linear exponential, legato free, you can check out the other video and all the other things. You can even loop it, the filter envelope, which is super cool. You can do Right, it's even uh, becoming like uh, audio rate modulation almost if you do it very quickly. Right here, we can add drive uh, to the filter uh, saturation. So we have uh, symmetrical or asymmetrical, basically um, different types of uh, colors of uh, harmonics. And as much as you go higher in number, the more uh, distorted, saturated it's gonna be. Uh, let's take down the resonance. Let's try the asymmetry. Ah, it's just different uh, flavors there. Um, excellent. Right here we have the frequency modulation. Um, LFO, again, it's turned off. We'll talk about all of this in the LFO video. Uh, right here we can do key tracking. So as we go higher, it's gonna filter is gonna be more open. As you go lower, the filter is gonna be more closed, and you can invert that. Uh, we have the envelope, this envelope, by default, already applied some amount to the cutoff frequency. And if we do something like this, we can obviously hear uh, that it's quickly closing the filter or opening. Let's do linear. Oh, let's do linear. So it's already controlling it. You can completely turn it off so it doesn't control, affect the cutoff at, uh, at all. Uh, you can even invert how it's working. So now it's going to go down. Let's keep it open. So now it's kind of going down. This is going, closing the filter and then opening back up. Um, and this is the amount. Why it's 16? It's beyond me. I have no idea what's the value 16 and four. Who knows? But uh, that's what they do. This uh, apply uh, affect how much is the envelope affecting the cutoff uh, knob. And this is, uh, according to key tracking, going to affect the cutoff. Right here we have the resonance modulation. So this is for the resonance knob. LFO is disabled because the LFO is off. Key tracking, again, it's going to add more resonance as you go higher and uh, less resonance you go lower. And here is the envelope, same filter envelope, uh, to also affect the resonance knob. Nice. 
Let's add an oscillator one. Let's say I make it a sub. Well, and let's take down the resonance. Let's take down the amount. Nice, so we can hear kind of at the, at the middle of the sound where the filter opens up. We also have kind of that a growly resonating uh, a filter a peak. Okay, nice. So those are the controls. Filter two is identical, but you can do some interesting things between them. So first of all, I'm going to turn it on. And right now, nothing is happening. So I'm going to turn amp one off. I'm going to turn amp two on. Sweet. We can send each oscillator to filter two. And now we can hear it. We can, of course, mix between the two amp and uh, have each oscillator go to a different amp or different filter. Right, so now we have this and, and this. Um, and we can also mix between them, so they go half and half. Right, even this half and half. To even have dual filters, maybe one of them will put four men. Um, and we can even do something like this. Let's send both of them to filter one, turn off amp one. So now the only thing we hear is amp two. And what we're going to do is I'm going to send uh, right here the filter one to filter two. So now it's going to filter two. Whoa. So now it's in serial. Let's change it to like a low pass. All right, so now it's, uh, both oscillators first go to filter one and then goes to filter two. So we have two, uh, uh, two filters in serial, uh, which is cool because you can uh, add even more distortion. And here you can even turn on follow. And now a uh, filter one cutoff controls both filters. And filter two uh, cutoff, uh, the frequency knob, is going to control the offset between two both filters. So you can create some very interesting routings here. We can then add back amp one. So now both oscillators goes to filter one, go to the amp and output the sound. Let's turn off. And then we also have filter one going to filter two into the amp and output the sound. Much louder and fatter. We can even pan them both separately for some wider sounds. So extremely interesting routing capabilities here with the filters. If you go into the global section, which we'll talk about in a different video, here you have quick routings that you can just click on. So here we have both separate signal chains. Uh, oscillator one, go to filter one, amp one. Oscillator two, filter two, amp two. And then we can switch them. We can see the connections here. Um, so when you click on them, it's immediately uh, routing them in this quick routing uh, presets. Really great stuff. So that's the filters in analog. Uh, next, we're going to talk about LFOs and modulation.